Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, one piece of equipment that I really haven't shown a whole lot on any of my videos, of course, was the antenna tuner. And right now you're looking at a uh, used uh, MFJ 986. MFJ 986 that I bought. Oh, about the time that I got my uh, ICOM 7000, which was way back when I very first got my license. So I've had it for several years now. It works perfectly. And I've always used this uh, legal limit, <coughs> which means that it can handle uh, 1500 watts, legal limit uh, antenna tuner to tune my both my beam and my long wire outside. <clears throat> it seems to be able to tune a chain link fence. I've even heard tell that uh, it can tune out a short too. Uh, so you kind of need to be a little careful about that. But uh, the man this particular manual tuner was recommended to me by my uh, Elmer John Walker. Uh, he had one of them before he upgraded to a, a legal limit uh, auto tuner. But anyway, this is a manual tuner, and the reason he recommended it to me was it has two knobs on it. It doesn't have three. You know, a lot of these manual tuners have three knobs. This one only has two. It has an inductance knob and a capacitance knob. All right? And by going between these two knobs, what you try to do is null out any of the reflected power that's showing up on the meter. We're going to do that live right now. Also, what's kind of neat about it, it does have a uh, little analog uh, digital or, or number readout. And once you get an antenna tuned to resonance, you can write down the numbers of all three things. You write down, you know, the inductance, inductance number was 145, for instance, and the capacitance was about six. And you write that down in a book, which I already have done. I hope I can get this to actually show up, but there it is. You can see I've got all the major frequencies. Let's try that again, maybe about right there. I've got all the major frequencies uh, shown on this just a little piece of paper that I keep in this uh, columnar pad where I write down other information like nets and things. So uh, anyway I've already I already know uh, what's in the ballpark uh, for that particular uh, frequency so I can pre-adjust it now. Before, I actually had to run through all the bands. I'd get in the middle of the phone band, because I'm mostly phone. I'd get in the middle of the phone band, and I'd tune up, try to get it perfect, and then I'd write it down. Then I'd switch to another band, and I'd write it down. And uh, so now I have like a little referral chart that tells me where to start the tuning process makes it a whole lot easier. But to begin with, I'm going to show you how to tune it from scratch. Uh, but just remember, make note of the, uh, the uh, tuning numbers, and then you can go back to them, and you'll be very close to being tuned up. It won't take you but a second to, to uh, touch it up a little bit. Of course, when I move from the phone and the digital, I, I do have to touch it up a little, a little bit, but not very much. Uh, so that would be my suggestion. Just dial to the middle of the phone band and do your tuning there, and then uh, you can uh, just refer to that little piece of paper where you got that written down for in the future. So right now we're gonna it's actually set, believe it or not, to 40 meters right now. And I'm hopeful that you'll be able to see this meter right here. Let me kind of describe some of these. Of course, you've got a forward and re reflected power meter on the MFJ 986. 
and there's your capacitance tuning and your inductance tuning then it's got various switch settings uh, you know one for a dummy load coax one coax two a balance line uh, or direct settings where it bypasses the tuner uh, completely coax one coax two direct which if you have a uh, if you know it's tuned up perfect you can just switch over to one of these depending on which line it's got two plug-ins on the back of course coax one and coax, coax two for two antennas and you can just switch over here and completely bypass the tuner if you know it's uh, that particular antenna is tuned or that band is already to resonance I also got a lamp light. I never use the lamp. I can see it just fine in here. And uh, then a peak reading, you know, indicator or an average indicator. And then a button in the middle for depending on if you're transmitting high power or low power. So I usually, of course, tune in the low power setting, which is where it is here. To go in the high power setting, you just push it. Okay, but right now it's out for a low power setting. I've already uh, lowered the power on my ICOM 7000 to about 18 watts. I always tune somewhere below 20 watts is what I usually do. Uh, and even if you have a bad mismatch, it's probably not going to do anything to your radio for just a few seconds of tuning. Of course, you've got to get a carrier in there, and you know, if you just keyed up the mic, you would really not have a good carrier to tune with. So what you do is you change the radio from single sideband, upper or lower, you change that to something like AM, or in my case, I like to use RITTY, R-T-T-Y, radio teletype, which this radio has. And I can just switch over. I'm going to do that right now. And now it's on radio teletype. So when I push the push to talk button, it's going to send out a, a tone, <clears throat> uh, you know, into the tuner that we can use to tune with. So uh, let's see what we are right now. Keep your eye on this. I'm hopeful that you can see it. We'll find out as soon as I make the video. But here we go. I'm going to push the push to talk see what we get wow we got a mismatch didn't we I've got the radio on uh, on 20 meters and the antenna tuner is tuned for 40 meters so it looks like we've got uh, about three to one about three to one it's where these arrows cross there's a little uh, kind of a uh, lines on here and where those two arrows cross one another and then you just read from that position and I'm approaching about three to one right now so the first thing you want to do is uh, I, I usually start with inductance on this particular tuner and so let's do that see if we can lower it a little bit okay so here we go I'm gonna key it up and it's dropping, whoa, it dropped way down to virtually zero. And of course, I'm looking at my little analog meter up here. It says 157, and according to my piece of paper, <laughs> I've got 157 on it. But let's see if we can make it any better. The next thing I try to do is to get as much forward power out of it as I can. It takes a kind of a general, gentle touch to do that, going between these two. And you're continually looking at both of these to make sure this doesn't go up, but this goes up. The forward power goes up. So that's usually my next step. So let's do that right now. And let's see if I move this, if it goes down a little bit. No. Let's see if I move this. No. Okay. So I may need just a little bit more power. So we're going to give it, uh, we're going to move it up to, uh, since it's pretty well tuned up, we're going to move it up to about 30 watts. And here we go. We're going to try it again. It makes the meter, you know, sometimes they 
meters will read better if they get a little bit more power to, through them and a lot of times you need to tune amps both at uh, tune for amps especially when you've got an amp you need to tune it both low and higher power so uh, <clears throat> if I had my amp on right was going to turn my amp on I would definitely tune this you know to around 50 watts which is the max I usually run my radio on 50 watts when I'm going through the amplifier so I would certainly test it at about 50 watts but we're at about 30 watts so let's look at it again keep your eye on the meter and nothing happened to the reflected whatsoever and it looks like boy I can just barely see that line moving the forward power just barely that looks pretty pretty good right there and that's it I'm tuned alright so I can just start transmitting now uh, <clears throat> and not worry about uh, not having 50 ohms showing to the radio so uh, tuned up on 14 meters now let's drop way down to uh, let's just drop down in the band a little bit all the way down to 14.070 or thereabouts I don't want to get on top of them so I'm going to go to 14.060 uh, and that way I won't be on on top of any digital signals so I've dialed back the power again to uh, about 20 watts now let's look at this meter again see what happened Remember, I've moved the, from about 14.300 uh, almost all the way down to 14.063. Uh, so let's key up again. And we did get some movement out of the uh, reflected a little bit, not much. But right now, we don't have any movement. It's, it's pegged at zero. So... That's all it took to tune up basically uh, way down the band. If I make a move, it just takes one or two seconds to tune. Uh, if I'm going to switch from phone to digital, it doesn't take very long. So it uh, uh, also tells me that uh, going through the Mosley beam right now, it's also telling me that it's, it's uh, got a pretty flat response across the band because I didn't have to make many adjustments on this even from the bottom to uh, all the way halfway through the phone band so it's probably pretty good to start with but I always use it I always tune I always make sure that everything's okay before I transmit anyway again it's an MFJ 986 uh, believe you can still buy these new I'm not real sure I think you can but you can always find them used on QTH or QRZ in the used forum classified ads and they make a great tuner uh, again legal limit and remember my amp is only a 600 watt uh, ALS 600 so I'm not even uh, this is not even struggling <laughs> To, uh, do 600 watts uh, when it's uh, okay to 1500 so keep that in mind when you buy one I suggest you buy a legal limit if you can find you a good used one that's the way to go I surely uh, found a good one this one's uh, been working perfectly no arcing uh, no smoke no nothing just sits here and works anyway that's all there is for today manual antenna tuner get yourself one and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. Yeah, it's up there. 73, everybody. Clear skies. See y'all later.